So this is what I was talking about when I said it was like a winter wonderland in the yeah, literally on the on the Airbnb. When we got here, it was all dirt and garbage. I mean, it was still cool, but it looked grody. This is more what it looks like when you're on the Airbnb and everything's beautiful and snowy. And uh, we're leaving now. It's great. I don't think we need to scrape off that much, right? That's fine. It's just powder anyway. So I just finished texting Pete. Uh, he sent some new drums. I think we're on mix four now for Eyes of Vice. We took it in one direction. We kind of played with another direction. Now we got both those directions combined into one super direction. And it's gonna be a, a you know, a song that kind of starts out hyped up and you know upbeat and then slowly deteriorates into a downbeat song. It's about addiction. Uh, let me play a little bit for you, but I think we're getting a lot closer. Things that piss me off if you want. 
Oh, he's like one of my favorite episodes. That's the place jammed with Super Bowl fans. The sports bar was, which is cool. The bar still. Oh, okay. I grew up with Logic's family a little bit. I don't know if I told you that before, but his family is is very, like, like quadruple. I bet for two Like, very, like, like, very quarter black. I bet on two play challenges. I'm allowed to say it. Anyways, one point. Yeah, I think one of his, like, nieces or something was in my third grade class. And she was. I did regular bets. Like a tan white girl. Like, yeah. I went to the uh, yeah, counter and I was um, like, I've never been in a sporting event. I haven't been in a sport. And he was like, and my mom yeah, whatever you want. And my I was yeah. like, what is that? Anything? He's like, Yep. You can buy the coin toss. National anthem. Yeah, yeah exactly. Two good bets I had. It's really, really And it's like, I just. Coin toss. I, as and person, I coin toss with the Rams to win. That's what I got both of those. Oh, nice. yeah. One to five hundred bucks. Yeah. 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 Having Joey Diaz on, and it's just Joey the Diaz. Minus the yeah, and they were he was making disparaging comments about yeah. fried chicken yeah. stuff. And it's oh, like, Joe didn't say anything. It doesn't matter. It was just it was Joey. Diaz. I said as soon as as soon as he apologized, I was like, "You've you've told them this works," mm. and they're saying, "Okay, guys, do more." Yeah. And so now Newsweek ran another story. They're like, "Political Action Group uncovers new video of Joe Rogan." It's like, "Yep," and they're not going to stop because Joe's got a decade of content. But like, yeah, exactly. Anyone who's on on anything recorded that often for that many years. Unless you are edited like, you know, a reality show where they edit out the bad stuff. But yeah. they keep those tapes anyway. Look at Access Hollywood. That's yeah, right. They had that in the yeah. bank forever. They were just waiting, so. It doesn't, if, if they're willing to take one video out of context, um, they'll take anything out of context. That's why I hate when people That's why I was like, don't me. apologize. <laughs> Tenacity is one of the things I'm most envious of. <laughs> but they really, they never let one way to go. go. Yeah, you know, a pit bull. Yeah, I mean, heck, even today we're seeing the Durham report, and it's been five years in the making. But no one was tenacious about that, except for maybe Durham himself. But even right wing media kind of was like, ah, yeah. and that's why they hate Trump. They move on. Trump's a reflection of the tenacity. Yes. Well, now he's saying it's a death penalty. So. Yeah, yeah, he he like wants you to draw that inference, but he didn't say it. In a stronger time, these people would have been put to death. In a stronger time, treason was a yes. But it's not treason. Yes. Treason is aiding and abetting uh, foreign enemies. Foreign enemies. Yeah. This would be sedition. And sedition is not death penalties. I think Republicans will immediately move to federally ban abortion. Is that after midterms? No, that'll be in June. Uh, and then, but then you're, all of a sudden you're going to have every so Republican being like, you have to vote for me because we're going to do this and that's going to like really that, ignite. Yeah. Just gets Here's a simple way to understand it. Ask a, ask a pro-lifer how they feel about abortion and they'll say they're murdering babies. They're murdering, they're serial killers. Ask a leftist how they feel you know, about abortion. They'll say it's no different than flushing your, uh, your snot right down the toilet. So if you had, if someone feels like uh, um, an abortion is just a period. Who cares? Flush on the toilet. Are they going to get animated to protect that? Who who's going to jump up? Jump, who's going to take arms to protect flushing shit down the toilet? Mm -hmm. Nobody. But you go to pro-lifers who are like they're murdering babies. So I, I just put it to you simply: whether someone, whether you agree with the pro-life thing or not, if anyone here saw someone about to murder a baby, you'd stop them. If anyone here saw someone bunch up a rag and throw in the toilet and flush it, you'd be like, I don't care. The pro-life views that abortion as murdering a baby. The left doesn't. The left's not going to be animated by it. The right will. Oh, I don't know. I what think you're the underestimating. That it's like forced birth and all that. I, I think you're underestimating the passion of the left. I mean, look at the Kavanaugh hearings. That this is a sacred. That's, this is a sacred right. That's violence against women. But the Kavanaugh hearing wasn't about abortion. It was totally about abortion. It was cult tribalism. No, I, I think you're underestimating the 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 sacredness of abortion for the elect. I think you're overestimating the mental capacity of the average person banging on the Supreme Court doors. <laughs> well, those people have no idea what they're banging on the walls exactly, for. Yeah. The right never protests. Never. No, we're bad so, protesting. So when you finally do have, have right stuff to do. People, yeah, exactly. when, when the right finally comes out, 
something really shoved her out there. Well, they, with the barriers, the March for Life, is, is, the yeah, March for life is huge, and, and even like, that gets a lot of pro-abortion people. When does the right ever go to a pro-left march and be like, we're gonna have our abortion? So That's how militant point. the abortion issue is for the left. No, no, the no, March no. for Life, there are, not. it's not 50-50, it's not 10%. You're There's conflating a things lot here. of pro-abortion protests. People come out for pro-abortion, but they don't know what they're coming out for. I, 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 this, this is, this is part of my red pill is like, when I went to the anti-war protests of the 2000s, and everyone was there saying like, oh, your war is bad and everything, and then as soon as Obama got elected, they were gone. Mm-hmm. Just completely gone. Mm-hmm. They were not protesting anything other than, hey, look, we're outside and we have signs. <laughs> well, yeah, they do like to protest. I mean, it's just in their But they don't know what they're doing. They, they, <laughs> they don't have convictions on these issues. What animates the left is being a part of the cult, you know, fitting in and, and that seems to be breaking, especially with the shattering of ratings, with Hollywood faltering, with uh, the celebrity mask mandates. It's just not cohesive anymore. No. So. All right. I get your argument. Oh, well, we should go upstairs, huh? Yeah. We'll go. Speaking of Hollywood mask mandates, it's kind of funny to watch uh, Super Bowl. Yeah. Every one of them at the Super Bowl. Every one of them.